Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. In today's video, I am going to talk about how to debug a Lambda function locally. For creating and debugging Lambda function, you need to have the Amazon Lambda tools installed in your PC. And the command for that is .NET tool install amazon.lambda.tools. And you can provide slash g to be installed globally. Once the .NET Lambda tool is installed, you are ready to debug Lambda function locally as well as create. Now, if you want to use some of the existing Lambda templates, you can also install the Lambda templates using the command .NET new dash dash install amazon.lambda.templates and you can provide the version. I have installed the 5.2.0 version. And once these are installed, you are ready to create and debug Lambda function. In one of my previous video, I have shown how to install the Lambda tools as well as install the templates. So I'm not going to show them again. I'm just going to start with creating a new Lambda function and then debugging the Lambda function locally. So for that, I'm going to use .NET new and for the function name right now i'm just going to use an empty function so i can say lambda dot empty function and let's create a function called debug lambda now what i can do is i can open visual studio and open up the code inside the debug lambda now if i do cd debug lambda the debug lambda if i do a directory we can see we have source and test and the code is inside inside the folder source so you can see inside the source there is a folder called debug lambda and if i see inside this this is where all the files and the JSON file is there. So let me first open the Visual Studio and we can quickly talk about that. So once I open the code, you can see it has a default function, the function.cs class, which has a function class and function handler is the Lambda handler, which will be called. So you can see this is the function and I discussed in details in previous video of Lambda. So I'm not going to cover everything. And this is the default JSON file, which is used for deploying the Lambda function. And here the profile, this is the AWS profile name. And I created a profile locally called personal. And the region for me is US East 2, that's the region I use and everything else can be default. And this is the solution name, then the type name and the function name that is the function handler. It can be anything you decide. And inside the function right now, it is just returning a two upper. And as I have shown in previous video, we can use the Lambda context dot logger to log messages in the AWS console. So, Testing the. I'm going to show how this message is going to show up when we debug. So now for debugging, what we have to do is right now, this comes with the default debug, which is not going to work. So if we run this, it's not going to work because it's a class library. So what we have to do is first, we have to open the project property. Once we go into the project property, we can go into debug and we can create a new debug profile here. And let's say, Lambda debug is the name of the profile and let's not change anything here. Let's just save this. Now, once it is saved, we'll see a file called launch setting JSON, which is inside the properties folder. Once we open this, we can see now apart from the standard one, we have a Lambda debug and it's a, it has a common name of executable. We are going to work with that. So first thing what we are going to do is we're going to add a command here. And this is the most important part is this line. So we will add executable path. So we are saying that this is an executable and the executable path goes to the user profile, then .NET tools, and then .NET Lambda tools 3.1 exe. So when we install the .NET Lambda tools, which are shown earlier, this exe is going to be installed. And this is what will be used for debugging Lambda. The next thing is this particular executables essentially creates a web-based application and we have to provide a port number for that. 
So in the common line arguments, we can provide the port and I'm just giving uh, 5550, it can be anything. And then finally, there is a third parameter, which is what is the working directory of this executable. So for the working directory, I'm just giving bin and then debug or release based on what I select here, which is a configuration and then netcore f3.1. This inside of this where my code will be. So once we save that, now we are ready to debug the Lambda function. So let me go here and let me put a breakpoint here and see what happens. So I'm going to go here and change from the project name or solution name into the Lambda debug option that I created. And then I'm going to run this. And once I run this, a web page is going to show up. So here, first of all, you can see that it is using AWS.NET Core mock Lambda test tool and it loaded the project from the project path that we specified and it found the config file which is the local config file here which I discussed earlier and then it is running under localhost 5550 and if we go to localhost 5550 we can see that it is aws.net core mock lambda test tool and here we can execute function now if we click here it's going to execute the lambda which is this lambda and it takes a string input so we can pass a string input into our function so here we can say debugging lambda execute the function once I execute the function you see that the debug point is now hit the breakpoint that I created and I got the input debugging lambda here and now we have a logger object we'll see where the log goes and I can do an f10 let's do an f5 and once I do an f5 I can go back to my UI and here you see that the debugging lambda that I sent it's been converted into uppercase and that's the return in the response section and in the log section testing lambda. Let me increase the font a little bit so that it's easier to read. And as you can see, we see that testing the lambda, this is logger.log that I have provided in the code and debugging lambda is the output, which is an uppercase of the input that I sent. And as you can see, it's extremely easy to debug a Lambda function. All we had to do is create the launch setting.json, provide the executable path for the .NET Lambda tools, and then in the command line, provide a port number because it's a web-based application, and then provide the work directory. Once we do that, we can go to the local host and the port number that we provided, and we can debug the Lambda just like any other .NET Core project. It's extremely easy and straightforward. This is how you can code and debug a Lambda locally from your PC. Now, if you are using other AWS services from here, then of course, as I mentioned in my previous video, you can connect to any AWS service using the key and secret when you create a user on AWS. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show how we can use the code to access the S3 files. So I'm just going to install S3 NuGet package, which is AWS SDK.S3. I'm just going to install the latest version. And then I'm going to copy paste a couple of lines of code from my previous video. And so once the NuGet package is created, what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to here, I'm going to create an Amazon S3 client. And for that, I'll have to add the namespace Amazon.S3. And I have a constant file which is having the secret and UID. So I'm just going to use that. And here, because this is an async function, I'm going to make it as async task of string instead of just string. And then what I can do is instead of returning the input, I can just do string dot join and I create comma separated list and pass the buckets dot buckets dot select and bucket goes to bucket dot a bucket name so that's all i have to do and now if i go and try to debug this function and i get the same thing and here again i just pass test it is immaterial execute the function i can see i got three buckets and now I'm just going to do F5. If I go back to the UI, I can see there is one bucket, 
two bucket test again another bucket and the test bucket and this is a separate bucket and if I go to the s3 I can see three bucket listed in my s3 in AWS console so as you can see it's really easy to create and debug lambda locally as well as debugging lambda when the lambda itself accesses multiple AWS resources so that's all I wanted to cover for today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, if you think you are getting value out of my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for watching this video.